LaGrange, Kentucky Main Street Program. I'm Karen Eldridge, I'm here with Debbie Crawford, and we're getting ready to go to LaGrange Farmer's Market. Now, what are some of the really neat things that you're gonna show us today? Oh, wonderful vegetables. I'm gonna look for green beans myself. Oh, I'll and, look for corn. Uh, <laughs> corn. <laughs> and then uh, we have some artisans. We have a lady that makes beautiful jewelry up there, so you'll get to see some some beautiful things there. Right. And then we're gonna meet some girls that are gonna do the Dixie Soul Fancy Flea coming up on September 10th, and you'll just love that. Oh, so we're gonna get a little preview of these young ladies. So why don't y'all come go with us? See you there. Karen has brought Russ over here to talk to us. And what are some of the neat things about the Farmers Market, Russ? Well, nice thing about our market, we are Kentucky proud. Yes. Which means we're the uh, Agriculture Department of Kentucky recognizes us. We go through an approval uh, process every year. Uh, we have uh, 40 vendors this year. Wow. Um, most, uh, I'd say 90% of our farmers are Kentucky proud which means we fall under their uh, advertising and this type of thing. Right. So you definitely have some uh, excellent uh, local uh, produce and meat and what have you. That's great. Th this is a large farmer's market. I don't know if you've ever been to the LaGrange Farmer's Market or not, but it's along the courthouse and they've actually put in a, a really neat walkway in front of the courthouse that they have the farmer's market on so it's very convenient very pretty yeah and our, our customers really love it oh, it, it yeah. makes a big difference they can come and relax and bring their dogs and bring their kids and what have you and, <laughs> and have a good morning you know yeah. so, a couple years ago we were uh, named the uh, farmer's market of the year oh and, uh, that's great so it's uh, out of all the large markets in Kentucky, which means we're up against Lexington yes. and the Louisville area and what have you. So it says a lot for our local community and how they really supported our market. And over the years since I've been here, it's, it's amazing. Oh, it's so. grown so much. We started out with five vendors, right. and now we're up to 40. Oh, wow. Now, does it average 40 every weekend, or do well, you get a little more occasionally? No, that's, that's right now it's nice when we have 41 signed up, and we oh. generally average about 70 to 80 percent of them. Uh -huh. For various reasons, but your farmers are going to be here, but we have our, uh, an artist to mix up, and they'll, it's depending on the yeah. weather or vacations or what have you, you'll have a very, right. uh, various market. Well, that's really nice. Thank you. Now, Karen's going to take us and we're going to look at, she's looking for green beans and I'm looking for corn, so we're going to... Well, you, you'll find both and you'll find a <laughs> nice variety of every, just about everything. The tomatoes are in, they, they started last week and now they're just oh. abundant. Uh, one vendor sold just about a two pounder this morning. I said that'd be a oh perfect my grief. tomato sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> well, we should have been here a little earlier. We could have yeah. seen that. The early you bird it. does get the worm. You yeah. got it. They got the yeah. tomato got all right. You so, but I thank you well, you're for welcome. giving us a little time, and it's very important to us to get her name oh. out. It's surprising the number of people in the area don't know we have a farmer's market. Yes, I have noticed yeah. that. It's, we're going to make sure they know about yep. it. Yep, thank you. Well, now, is there a way they can contact you if they want to be in the farmer's market? Or is there a number or a place they can go to find we, out? We have a Facebook site, LaGrange okay. Farmer's Market and Artisan. And we also have a website, LaGrange Farmer's Market and Artisan.com. Great. We'll, we'll make sure that everybody gets that. That'll be wonderful. Or just stop by here and look for the <laughs> yeah. gray hair guy. <laughs> <laughs> Russ is here every week, so you right. know. And next week is National is Farmer. National Farmer's Market Week. So we want to, to celebrate that, too, right. especially. Yeah. And we will have another Farm to Table dinner coming up uh, September the 19th. Now, you have to tell them who is the chef for that. Well, Right now we're in the process of using the chef at the Bourbon and Ale House on Main Street. We the last chef was Gary Baychick, and uh, not sure about the menu yet, but we're working on it. Oh uh, my goodness! So you have to tell it, him, where is Gary Baychick from? That's what I find well, so interesting. Gary is from uh, he's from uh, the uh, Lagrange area, yeah. and he works at Brown Foreman yeah. as a chef and. Uh, 
he's uh, done several cooking demonstrations here, and he supported our market over the last four or five years. It's I, amazing. So. I think that's wonderful. I was there the night they were cooking. He was cooking, and oh my god, it smelled so good. And he was there like two hours early in order to get things oh, ready. Yeah. So yeah. He put the gra together a great menu, and we're hoping for the same thing next time around. Oh, we're, yeah. we're trying to shake it up a little bit and get a, He's different, a different chef, right? And say, okay, you, you know, don't lock into one person, but maybe a couple. Yeah. Oh well, everybody cooks different, right? And, you know, and Kevin is very talented too. And we are going to get to meet him. We're going to oh, get good. to meet Kevin next week. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, you can't. On September 19th, you said, is our next yeah. farm to table? It's a Monday night and 6 to 9. And, uh, it's wonderful. We'll, we'll have the tickets on sale here in a couple of weeks and the menu set up. So if anybody interested can stop by the market or contact me. Oh. And, yeah. Well, we'll just try to post something about that for you. We'll have we'll have their flyer up and you can find it on the Kentuckiana news page and on the... Uh, uh, LaGrange Main Street program. We'll right, make sure that right. it's, uh, it's definitely out there. there. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> well, I think Karen's going to take us Thank and we're going to look at some of the vegetables well, and the artisans. We'll spend your money. Well, yeah. Okay, Thank they'll you. appreciate Thank it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, come go with us. Hi, I'm Grant Abbott with Magic Acres Farm here at LaGrange Farmers and Artisans Market. Um, we're here every Saturday from eight in the morning till one in the afternoon. We have a wonderful group of vendors. Um, for my booth, we do organic raised vegetables, uh, pasture raised meats, and perennials and annuals. So we have, we have a great time here every Saturday. It's a great group of people. We have people from all walks of life. Some people do it as a sideline. Some people do it as a living. Um, we have a great set of base customers that we see every week and we almost become friends. We've been doing this for five years so we know a lot of our customers long term um, and it sort of becomes a small family. So we really enjoy it. Um, if you're thinking about doing something in a farmer's market, this is a great one to join. We have a wonderful farm manager, farm market manager, Russ Morris. Um, he looks after us. He keeps us all out of trouble. Um, so it's, it's really fun. It's really enjoyable. Um, and I sit on the board and we're always looking for new people to, to come join. My name is Jennifer Taylor. This is my husband, Daryl Taylor, and uh, we own a, a small business in LaGrange called Taylor Design. Um, I do a lot of crafts, uh, wreaths and jewelry and things like that, and uh, Daryl is actually a graphic designer, so he does a lot of things on the side as well. So, do you want to talk about your items? No, I just provide the uh, custom uh, canvas prints and vinyl signs and decals. Uh, just anything you can think of, we can probably make. And this started out just as a hobby, and we started putting it in the farmer's market, and it's just blossomed ever since. And we've had a, met a lot of great people here and friend, new friends and just a lot of support from other, other people from the community. So it's been a great experience. Yeah. Even the shop owners have come by to visit. We've made some really good contacts, and it's actually a really affordable way to kind of get your feet wet and just to get out and meet some people, make some contacts. Well, Karen has gone to find somebody that is involved with an event that's going to be happening on September the 10th here on Main Street. And they're going to be here in just a minute to tell you all about that event. And I think you're going to really love it. So I think I hear her coming. So we're going to see what Karen has to say. Well, Karen has found Scott, who is, he works for Bloom, and they're going to tell us some more about this event that's coming up in September. Karen, what is this? Well, it's the Dixie Soul Fancy Flea, and it's on September the 10th. And Scott, can you tell us a little bit about the vendors that are going to be here? 
Um, we're gonna have a lot of food trucks. We're gonna have, we're trying to include as much of Main Street stores as we can. We're gonna have Red Pepper, we're gonna have 119. They're gonna be bringing food out. Um, oh, wow. So we can, we can include more of the local stuff as long as along with bringing in more local res local restaurants, local businesses. Um, so we can experience Main Street when we come yeah, to the event. Definitely, definitely. Oh, wow, that's definitely. wonderful. Now, is there any specialty booth or event that's going to be here during that? Um, we're going to have some music. We're going to have a few music yeah. groups. Um, we're going to have some donut. We're going to have a donut vendor. We're going to have a lot of different, just very unique and eclectic kind of uh, booths we're going to have. Oh, wow. So, is there space still available? There are. There's a few. Uh, there's still a few places left. Um, try to get them in as quick as you can. Um, it's very important. There are just, like I said, there's just a few spaces left. So, got to get and them in. And they have to be jurored in order to yes. get in there. Yes, so, they do. It, when he says you need to hurry up, that means you really need to hurry yeah. up. So, if Definitely. you want to be in this, make sure you give them a call. And the number that they can do to call to get a hold of you all is what? Um, it's 502 222 1626. So that'll, that'll be great if they can get their Definitely. booth in there. Definitely. So. All right, but there's just a couple of spots left. But again, it's on September the 10th. And we want to thank Blooms for organizing this event oh, for us. Yeah. And it's the Dixie Soul Fancy Flea. And we're just come out to LaGrange and have a wonderful time. I know that there's at least one vendor. She has a gypsy caravan. Yes, yes it's and a gypsy. So, yes. <laughs> just, it's going to be wonderful, the things that are going to be going on in LaGrange that day. It'll be a unique event, definitely. Okay. That is for sure. So, as always, thank, thank you, you for watching. watching.